That one's very common and poisonous, sulfur tuft. Make you very sick and um, you could end up in hospital for a few days. Whereas the death cap, only, you only need a third of a death cap and you're dead. Whereas the, these are hebelomas and they turn black. When they, as soon as they've sort of come out, they're quite large, and as soon as they've come out, they start turning so black and rotting. These are Cortinarius violaceus. Move, Peanut. And that's a, a large one there, because normally when they first come up, they're quite small. And it's um, basically a violet web cap, and they build up toxins. That's what they do with you. Beach was sickener. Yeah, and it, it's, it um, does exactly what its name says, makes you very sick. You can step across here. Yeah, That's an R, Some of the um, brittle gills or russulas are edible, others actually are not. So when you're first learning, leave them all alone. And the tr trouble with the amanitas is that you actually need to see the root to actually be able to 100% identify them if you're not, if you don't know. Um, they look like, this time of year, initially they look like the seps that are, when they're just coming through. But, but once you've noticed the little stippling effect on them, then you can identify them. But if you don't know, you can pick those sorts of things when they're young and, and mistake the identity. <laughs> no, this is an earth ball. All right. Again, very common. People mistake them at first for ordinary puff balls. But when you actually cut them open, they're black inside. Important. The identification is to keep yourself safe and also so that you can identify things that are um, endangered, like the violet web cats on the red data list. Conservation is obviously important or we're going to lose all these wonderful fungi in the forest. People just pick indiscriminately and destroy the habitat. And education to actually teach people how to identify and how to conserve and um, be safe.